just dead. There's too much come on. Fuck me. Give me what's up. No, let's go, man. Go now. Man, kill me. Starting things off, we have a customer looking to sell his comic book. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Albania originally. I got these comic books right here. They're in real good condition, man. They're from the 70s. I was looking around 2000, man. I want to know how you came up with that amount. Les and Ashley cannot offer a tempting price. $5? For all these? I mean, you made me drive all the way down here for $5. I didn't make you do anything. You did it. I was just f***ing with it. The customer gets agitated. This is from the 1970s. So am I. I don't go f where you're from. I feel like you're playing me right now because this, I know this is worth way more than six dollars. Why are you standing behind? Don't be pushing me like that, bro. Come on. These motherfuckers don't know me. I'm fing Albanian, baby. What the f you looking at, motherfucker? On the way out, things get worse. What the f you look? Come here. What the f? What the f? What you gonna do? Shut down. That's too much. Come on. Fuck me, bitch. What the f? Get the f off me, huh? What you gonna do now? I'm fing Albanian, baby. Up next, we have two men wanting to sell their items. Man, they taking all day, bro. Man, what's I need? We got these two right here, man. How much are you trying to get for it? Like $30. $30. Uh, I buy it for $5. Things quickly take a turn for the worse. For real, we ain't laughing, we serious. You laugh, but we need $30. Hold on, hold on. Why what you mean you don't know? No 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 nigga ain't no $5. Yeah. Les steps in to settle the matter. Touch myself, Listen. bro. Bro, don't touch me. Who is you, bro? Man, no, get the out, dog. No. Hopped on the bus. Security steps in to put a stop to the situation. Bro, who is you? Why is you touching my <laughs> bro? Who the f you me? Don't put your hands on me, bro. Fat belly, Take you been eating too much? Man, quit putting your hands on me, oh, big no. boy. Big oh, all your oh, Trying to pawn a laptop, these two customers come across Seth. Look at this, though. It's a notebook. I got a fingerprint scanner on this mother. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get 150 for it. Hey, you about to have a baby. Yeah, How are you guys going to wait I'm going to be the baby's guy, man. So you never had any here before? Man, what's with all the questions, man? Things escalate as they get agitated. It's worth about 65 bucks. Man, you got me f***ed up, bro. 65 bucks if you want to get loan. Three months, 3%. Man, him. Hey, let me see somebody else up in this bitch, dog. Where less at? Where less? tripping. And security steps in. But what you f***ing security come from, or something? Right. Hey, These hey, mother hey, Oh, oh, oh now you want to touch, touch me. Oh, man. man. Yeah. Okay. They ain't in this mother Look, man, up to date computer, man. And he gonna say some $65. Why'd you give him so much? Oh, hell no. Now he gonna act he, I see we get this <laughs> from. It's like father <laughs> like us. They're high fiving each other like they got over on us. American law. Les welcomes a customer who has some very suspicious answers. What the hell is it? Call it a ring. Okay. I didn't think it was a bus. How'd you get it? I just got it. This guy smelled like a brewery. How much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. Things begin to go south. If this was gold, it would be worth 2,500. I won't give you anything because it's not gold. Man, I, I got don't a know lot why problems. you need to yeah, I'm give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. I probably no, 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 you give me something just for it. Just don't beat on the glass. Security steps in as they throw him out. It's give me the, that. It's the, it's the. Ow, I ain't going nowhere. Man. I got me! You man? Yeah. Trying to pawn his chain, this customer gets a direct offer from Les. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, pawn this chain right here. Okay. I can go 1500 You want to uh, do two? What if I throw an earring in there? Show me. I'll go 1700 Uh, You give me 25 What if I throw a watch in there? Show me. 1900 Man. No, but they still diamonds, though. You want the two grand? I'll take care of you. They come to an agreement, but it's not over. Man, what the f y'all doing back there? Hey! What? What happened? Where my, where my jewelry at, man? I said, I'm ready to give my money and keep it moving. Huh? Now I'm thinking about helping you out on the hearing aid. Give me this damn money so we can get the f up out of here. I don't want to do nothing, now. Nah. I run my jewelry back. I got to go. Out of here. For the I do, do I? Are you talking to him, man? I'm running my jewelry. I'm a personal trainer. You look like you need to train. Like they paying a lot of money or something. A customer, having received his chain, returns after noticing an issue. I just got this chain out the pawn shop. I noticed it was some bins in my links on the chain. And it wasn't like that when I pawned. So you already left the store with it. How do I know you didn't mess it up from here to there? Why didn't you check it out when I handed it to you? However, his excuse doesn't sound convincing. 
I must have smashed you watch something me on take top it out of the envelope. Your head too. Once it leaves the store, there's nothing I can do. Y'all about to have to fix my before I go. Straight up. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to make you pay me before I leave this bitch. I don't think that's going to happen. Threats are made, prompting security to step in. Are y'all going to send y'all to your ass security now? All y'all security some is in this bitch. Oh, yeah? The off me. Shit. Lucky I'll uppercut your ass. They proceed to escort him out, but more than words are exchanged. Middle of the mall chain right here, man. You say middle of the mall. Middle of the dude. dude, don't touch him. Back up. You're good, Joe. Oh, ass. Walking, though. Next up, we have a very weird customer in the shop. Uh, I don't know what y'all doing over here. There's some mother in the refrigerator. I don't know what the he's doing. There's some mother in there. I'm over here checking out the TVs, and I just watched some mother come in here. Open it up. What the are you doing? Who's checking out this fish right up? The situation seems very suspicious to Les. They wait until the store closes, and then they rob the place. I was thinking about buying. What are we going to do, rob us? Call me. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Hey, man, it's a nice fish writer. Security promptly throws him out with no mercy. Get the f out of here. Hey, come on, man. So you right now, you take another step. It's going to be your last step of walking. Next, a gentleman is looking to retrieve his item. Kind of pick up my stuff here. Pawned in four earrings. Did you know this ticket says Paula Montgomery? No. Don't be starting a bunch of mess, because I done pawned in four earrings. I know what I pawned in. Your name is not coming up in the computer. Encountering an issue where Seth steps in. My name is on the ticket. Paula Karen. Is that you? Uh, yes. That's you, Mr. Anthony Paula Karen. Man, I want my earrings. Give me your ticket. There's a ticket right there. I brought four earrings in here, and I want when? four earrings when? back. When? Seth, unwilling to tolerate his attitude, takes matters into his own hands. Why don't you people? Ain't this a pawn shop? Why don't you come around and talk to me like a man, big boy with your earring? Where is my earring? Better get my earring. Or else what? Security is present to put a stop to the situation. Uh, don't be putting on me. Uh-uh. Hold, hold, hold. God from her, man. Don't be putting your hands on me. Mind your own damn business. You want some of that? Yeah, you're on my property. What you want, big boy? Man, don't be coming up behind me. Or else? Don't let this little fat short ass fool you. You got one thing, right? Two ladies walk in and seek some information. Coming in to check on my son's pawn ticket. He found my mom's ring. No, I don't have a ticket with me. Same. Nathan Turner. Yeah, it's not here. Nah, this guy, this some bull. He pawned a ten thousand dollar ring. That's the only thing I had left from her when she passed. It's got to be somewhere. Les is nearby and intervenes. I mean, is the manager there, somebody? Because I need to find out where that ring is. Problem is, he's got nothing in pawn. He wouldn't lie to us and say he brought it. What's on your mind, mind, stupid? What the is on your mind, stupid? The customer oversteps, but Les stays calm. Okay, let me tell you something. Go get the ticket. We'll be waiting for you. Thank you. As Les advised. They return, but again, there is an issue. Bam! That's my ticket, and I find my ring. This isn't our ticket. What the f*** you looking at it all, stupid folk? Bitch, you can read. Ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, bitch, I want none of this I want the ring. mother f***ing ring, and if you ain't got it, come the f*** from behind this glass so I can whoop your ass. I whoop his ass. I don't give a f***. I don't discriminate, bitch. I drove all the way home to get that ticket. It's not our ticket. What the f*** is this The issue is this is a counterfeit ticket. Threats are made. And Les has had enough. Now, f this. Bet you y'all gonna pay me for this ten thousand dollar ring. Of course we are. I will be back with my attorney. Y'all full of. I'll be happy to show them how I know it's a bullshit ticket. Rich is dealing with a client who is not happy about the policy. Why should I have to pay you anything extra just because I don't have my receipt? Don't make sense. Policy is it right? Now I'm saying you got my money, but I don't want to pay you any extra. Bring me the receipt. Bring me you the got receipt. To do something. Rich tries to be helpful but he seems to not understand. Either I'm going to charge you an extra dollar or you're so going to bring you me the receipt take back. My dollar. You're taking a dollar from me by trickery. You never said to me, if you don't have your receipt, it will cost you a dollar. Plus a dollar service charge, you're not having your receipt. All you need to do is bring us in the receipt. You should have said that verbally to me. So you're going to say F me as a customer that have been buying for you for 10, 12 years. That's policy. All right, take the dollar and I don't want to do no more business with you. I apologize. All right. He gets agitated over everything just for a dollar. I know you don't give a f because you make enough money. As much as I don't bother you. Sir, you know how many customers we have? Hey, when, when loan me a dollar, then. 
Give me a dollar. I'm going to give you the dollar so that you just understand. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your receipt, it's a dollar. Now I understand. See, because you said something to me. And it's not just a dollar. It's, 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 it's just a principle. A couple walks in in need of money. Um, we are here to sell a watch. It was actually a gift for my birthday. See, the problem is it really doesn't have any value. I wouldn't be interested in it. Not even going to offer nothing on it? At new, they probably were 25 bucks. Can't even pawn it for anything. What are you giving me on pawn? Nothing. There's no value. Les gives him an option, but he crosses the line. I couldn't get $10 if I tried to sell it. Definitely get more than $10. Try selling your stuff to somebody in the store. I'll let you keep the money. How's that? F you. Wait, is it f me or f you. No, here's the way it works. F you. Get the f out of my store. Make me get the f out. He gets agitated, and Ashley is there to show him his place. Sir, he already told you he was not going to take it. You're making an ass out of yourself. It's not his problem that your watch isn't worth anything. It, why, why are you buttoning into because what we're his talking his daughter? Who the f you are? Security makes sure he is shown outside. Get the f out of here. Where the f you going? Don't touch me, man. <laughs> you and this whole place. Three customers are in the store and they have an issue. I just bought these speakers right. last Friday. Like he tested them out right there. And they were working. But it looked like they was working. Once he checked out both speakers. And so now you're here to do what? Return them. Seth wants to help, but they are missing a critical thing. Well, I just need to see the receipt to see how long ago it was. Oh, wait, I don't have the receipt at all. Watch the, my jeans. There's really nothing I can do for you. There's no return policy on them. Just I'm not giving you no receipt. I just told you. OK, pretty much. Can I get some money back? Uh, I'll buy the box for 10 bucks. They come to an agreement, but look for a way to make more. I paid 85 for these. Give me the receipt. That's no 15. 10. No, I want 15. Okay, then I can't help you. No, so, uh, you so want 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks. I just bought some speakers here. Huh? They walk over to me. They trust my opinion more than Seth. Les makes it clear they are not getting anything else. Okay, I knew I won't get all my money back. Do you have your receipt? No. I resolve it in 20 seconds. They end up leaving. I'm older, I'm wiser, and probably the best looking guy in this whole store. A producer in the making walks into the store. Uh, looking for some music equipment, man. How much you want to give me this for? No, just this, this, this use. How much you want for the beat maker? This one right here, 300. Bull this is you. It appears this customer has forgotten where he is. Oh, I got scratches on him. Seriously? Seriously. You want this one right here? Give you both of these right here, 250. I get 150 for it. I'm not interested. 150 right now. Are you listening? I'm playing your intelligence. Well, my intelligence. This is what I do for a living, brother. And you ain't doing it right. Rich is not going to tolerate this behavior. I want to cash that out right now. He said, Fordin? I'm not interested in helping you out anymore. I get my box? No. Just accept my <laughs> money. Bo I'm moving. I need my box. I You're moving. That box. Things begin to go south as security approaches. You a bitch for that. Come back in this mother. And come you won't come back. Box. Next up, we have a lady trying to get a divorce. I'm not going to leave my husband cash my ring in. There he is. My husband about to get up. Ashley tries to help, but it seems this customer has already made up her mind. And we draw that out right there and put that in the gas tank and close this account. I call my husband in order to get some money. He didn't want to give it to me. What happened? Girl, get out of my business. After hearing the offer, things begin to take a toll for the worse. We're going to do 180 for you. What'd you say? I know I can get a whole bunch of thousands for that because I paid a whole lot of thousands for that. Don't ask me nothing. No, oh, your husband and make your ass like it, bitch. It appears that this lady has a very different way of making threats. She want to go f you. right in the place and make that bitch like, where's your daddy and he lives? I would f him too if I probably already did. My husband ain't work that ring. A customer with an attitude walks into the store. Give me this car and I'm about to school y'all. She exceeded the 90 day limit. Her laptop was here for six months. We ended up selling it. More than words are said as this lady doesn't know when to stop. But I'm going to have the last laugh. My name going to be on top of this bitch. I don't give a damn about no security. That's not a threat. Don't touch me. Please, Please don't. Just two days later, this lady is back. You need ID. So this is, you're doing this again today. On 10-23-07, you said do not give your merchandise to anybody except you with ID. We're doing exactly what you asked us to do. They didn't give you anything yesterday. Yes, okay, I want to call the police up here. Then. Please do. Things escalate as Les is still trying to help. I ain't giving you Jewelry and loan, please. Can you send the police up here? Greenfield and Lodge. South of 8 Mile. You don't shut up talking to me and get hell out my face. Okay. Let's make sure the customer is escorted out. And while she's outside, then they can wait for the police. You want to be a star too? No. You want to be a star too? Now I can't get myself up. Don't believe she called, and I know the police never showed up. Don't wait for the police.
Next up, security offers to enforce store policy to a couple of customers. I'm gonna talk too, mother Things begin to escalate as words are thrown. Fortunately, things don't go too far. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more content.